All right, what's up guys and welcome back to another video of why I watch a certain PokeTuber and today I'm gonna cover a poke game because Yo is an amazing PokeTuber and I really can't stress enough why he is that great because I'm gonna take my chance of actually trying to explain myself but but really um, he is one of the few PokeTubers I still watch and have been watching for over 10 years and uh, I mean it wasn't until like um, generation 7 where really he became a source of reference, uh, to be honest, but let's cover that later. Uh, I followed him since Generation 4. I didn't play the games back then. Really? Uh, <laughs> but, if anything, the thing that made this so great with Pokemon was that even if I didn't play the game, I could watch and understand the game. And I think he introduced the Smogun mentality and whatnot for well for the games really so when i started playing back in generation 5 i had a point of reference what to watch out for and if i was like worried about a set and want to create something creative i'll go to him because he was just simply one of the best players i knew and it made sense watching him and understand the strength of individual pokemon if he used it um, and while it wasn't all perfect, I was still, you know, a bad player, but at least I had a team build of reference to think about and then, you know, hopefully become good myself, eventually, maybe. Uh, and it was the year 9-6. Uh, <laughs> uh, where it actually kind of clicked for me and I decided, what the hell, I'm winning, a I'm winning enough to think that I make a good pocket super. And while that doesn't necessarily hold true, it turns out you need to have a personality too. <laughs> Which is why Yoey works. He has a great personality. And he has a charis charisma that is just incredible. Um, and he's so modest about himself. And he's so... Um, he doesn't have any prestige in him. I, I think that's so important. Like, he's prestigeless. He is very open-minded. He's super innovative. And he discusses things with anyone. Um, he's always looking for others' opinions, and I think that's such a rare trait in this type of very competitive, uh, well, field of, you know, pocket tubing. And, um, it, like I said, it wasn't Generation 7 where it really clicked for me. Uh, when I became a father and had to, pretty much, I'll be honest, I was considering putting down pocket tubing completely in Pokemon itself, because it just was no point. Um, being a father, takes a lot of your time and it's, it takes a lot of energy and I really wouldn't change anything for it but it was tough damn it's still tough <laughs> and she is fine now <laughs> figured it you know maybe maybe we can meet halfway here and try not to drain each other but yeah she is incredible and one thing that was incredible at the time was that I was able to stay in touch with Pokemon thanks to Pokemon Thing is, you know, kids sleep a lot, and when I was staying home with Celeste, there was always an hour to two hours where she was asleep at the day, and if I didn't have any shows, I'll watch Pokemon. And the um, thing was, when I had to work late, I'll I'll put Pokemon on the radio at my lab because why wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> just to you know, get the feel for the game and uh, he pretty much provided me that and while it was an hour absence of pokemon i still felt i was staying in touch and once eventually the time presented itself i had the opportunity of going back to pocket and i did so i shouldn't say flawless but i did so really well and a lot of it has to do with a with joey and pokemon because he was just keeping me updated and the way he presented stuff and talked about the game in the meta, it, it just clicks for me. I, I think it explains in such a great way that I can't stress enough how incredible it is to watch somebody like him. And uh, I got the opportunity of actually get to know him a little bit thanks to Twitter. And I, I honestly think we're inspired each other a little bit, at least. Um, for content and whatnot, I even had the opportunity of having him join my channel for some videos. And I really think that speaks volumes for him because that means he's, like I said, just that open-minded about it. And um, <clears throat> I still, to this day, if I'm worried or don't know what to do with a set, I'll watch his stuff, because he has the mentality to pull that out. And it turned out even better now when he actually doing content that False Five Game was doing, or something like that. I think they're a bit more analytic and both more situational, which makes the content, for me at least, all that much better. 
Um, I, I think he progress in a natural way. He becomes pretty much what I would say the mentor for pocket tubers or how how the game should be played and the experience that follows with that experience or that knowledge. He has a vast knowledge of all the metas or very lot of them. And he provides and presents them in a way that makes sense for a lot of people. There is a reason he's one of the biggest pocket tubers. He he's simply just that good. And having the chance to get to know him and watch his stuff. Getting my drop of Draco t-shirt for the gym. Yeah. There are a lot of things I do like with this guy. That said, um well I'm what is it called? Main goshing or male goshing, but I really mean that. He is he has fill a void for me that I simply couldn't fill myself and it's a rare trait feeling that you don't have to play the game to experience the game and he did that flawlessly and for sure without knowing but it meant a lot for me it definitely did and it simply makes him one of the best pocket tubers there is and a fantastic person so I'm very happy to watch pro game and you really should too and consider if you follow me and look at this video you already have so that's it guys always thank you for watching have a great day Take care. Bye.